Bonjour. Today we're going to learn about lequel et comment on utilise et à quel moment. Alors, um, lequel en anglais is which one or which ones. Okay. Um, what you do is you would use this form of lequel in place of quel, like plus a noun. Okay. So let's just give a little explanation first. I have another color because it's fun. So you use the form of lequel. Which, like I said, it means which one or which ones. Mm, I guess we could do this too. Oh, no, it's fine. Okay. Um, lequel in place of. Kel plus a noun, okay. Kel, which means which. All right, so let me give you an example. Ici, un exemple. On va dire quel, quel matière choisir. Okay, which profession will you choose? So instead of saying which plus a noun, right? Noun? Which plus noun? Instead of saying that, what we could say is which one will you choose? Okay, and the way to do that would be Lequel? Choisirez vous. So which one will you choose? All right, so that's pretty much the gist of lequel. It just is which one, which ones, instead of which. Okay, um, let's go down a little bit, and I'm going to add... What well, you have to do with this one, like hell, like with most, even what you have to do with, with Kel is the same thing. You have to make it agree, right? So it wants to agree with the noun that it's referring to. All right, so let's do a little star here, okay? It must agree with the noun it refers to, okay? So here are some forms. Uh, here are the forms, actually. So let's do uh, our box, right? We have our singular always. And our plural. And we have our masculine and our feminine. Okay. So we're going to kind of create a little chart going here. Okay, so what, what I have here, so we have our masculine form, which is lequel, right, which you've seen before, I wrote it before, laquel, which is our feminine form, which is just the feminine form the and the feminine form which, <laughs> and then lequel, avec un s, a Lesquels? Avec un E et S. D'accord? Okay, so those are our forms. Um, and then just uh, one more side note, and then I'll give you uh, just a couple of practice, or uh, sorry, examples. Um, if you have a past participle, okay, so if you're talking in the passé composé, you have a past participle, right? That's how you get a past participle. Um, they need to agree with the preceding direct object. And that's where these other kind of forms come into place. So let me show you. So if we have a past participle, um, 
sorry, agree with preceding direct object. So an example that I'm kind of talking about here is if I wanted to say, which one did you choose? Okay, so this is past state composé, which one did you choose? Okay, which one did you choose? Did you choose? Um, so the did you choose tells you that it's in the past state composé, right? So I would say, if I was you know, talking to a girl, um, laquelle avez-vous choisi? Okay. This is our feminine form. choisi. Okay. So if that one, the preceding direct object has, uh, okay, we need to make these agree. All right. So that's uh, one example. Another one would be, which ones did you do? Okay, this is past tense again. Which ones? We know we're going to use a plural form. And maybe uh, they didn't use a feminine form for their past participle. So let's do lesquelles. Which ones okay, did you do? He has an S, so he's going to have an S. We need to have them match, right? All right, so there's just one more um, little point, and that is with your A plus lequel and your de plus lequel, okay? So if I wanted to say, um, let me just give you a quick example of what that would even mean. So if I wanted to say which ones interest you, um, intéressé has A with it, okay? So intéressé, uh, which ones are you interested? Uh, it literally translated doesn't really make much sense, but which ones are you interested at or to? For that, it would be an a uh, plus lequel, right? Uh, that would make an issue because we want to make uh, we want to combine them. All right. So our a uh, plus lequel is going to give us a different form. And again, we need to make our chart singular plural and um, masculine feminine. I'm gonna make these shorter because I ran out of room on my paper. Singular, plural, M for masculine, F for feminine, okay. The different form, those two together, two of which, which ones, you know, it, it's, it's really hard to just literally translate it. But what you would wanna do is change it to O, Kel, right? Just like you did a plus le before you learned that, how to say to that or at that, the a plus the le should immediately make a sign go off in your head. Woo, 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 that's not right, that's not right, right? It's the same thing with a plus le kel. Again, this could never happen. They have different forms for it, all right? So a plus le is the same. Um, de plus le is the same. We have these different forms. Um, and so it's the same thing with le kel and, and la kel. Okay, so let's just finish this out. A la quel. And then we have au quel. And au quel. All right. So hopefully now you can see that a little bit. A plus le. <clears throat> Excuse me, a plus le does the same thing. Masculine, feminine, it does the AUX, and then you're just mixing them, or you're just uh, adding your kel. And then the one over here is like I was mentioning, de plus le kel, okay? Um, and I'll show you exactly how we did the other one, right? If you take off ke and you look, or kel, sorry, and you look, de plus le, immediately siren should go off in your head. It's not de plus le, it's du. De plus uh, la is de la. Um, de plus le is de, right? There's another form that there's another form that is formed. So it's the same thing with these. Okay. So we're gonna have our singular form. We've got our plural form. And then we'll do our M for masculine and our F for feminine. Let's try to separate these a little better. Okay. So the first one, if you can guess, de plus le equals 
like I said, du, and then guess what? You just add duquel, okay? So it's pretty much the same that we've done before. De laquelle. It's not the same, but hopefully the, the similarities and some things that you've learned um, will help you remember how to do this. Dequel. And then dequel pluriel. Avec les doubles L, E, S. Okay. I don't have room for um, examples, but one, which ones interest you? Auquel vous intéressez-vous? Or if I wanted to use this, I would say which, uh, which one are you talking to? Are you talking of? Are you talking about? To use de for that, right? And in order to do that, we would have to say vous parlez duquel? Are you talking of which one? Okay? So, uh, j'ai fini. Ask si vous avez des questions, vous pouvez me demander plus tard. Merci, au revoir.